Hello and welcome back to Ultras Plays uh, Stone Block 2. I told you I wasn't going to do that. And then I did that. That's subversion. That's comedy. That is funny. Okay, so the thing is, we, we don't, what we don't want to do is connect tree power here or harden struct. Why is there no rifts in here? Can't pick it a minute. All this is stopped. You are full of resin. Fluid duct. I have any resin in it. It's supposed to be going out of the bottom. Well, I was going to say stuff and things about wasp names, but now we're actually probably going to want to fix this. You don't need power. So why do you not have any? You're full of resin. You don't have any anywhere to go. You should be full of goop. You have. Go and grab this. Quickly. Full of. You're empty. Why are you empty? Did I accidentally drain all of this system all at once? Possible I did. Luckily, I have a second one. Le okay. Debugging day. <laughs> I was going to talk about how we wanted. Um... Hello, sheep. Hello, rooster. Hello, dying things. I was going to talk about how we wanted a whole bunch of lead. And I think the reason we wanted the lead last episode was for the leadstone in. Um, in the flux ducts, because we wanted to replace everything with the next level of a flux duct. We didn't have any lead left, which makes sense. And then, because we wanted to be able to drag it all down here. Let me tell you what I was going to say. We don't want these ones connected to the Draco Malfoy over there, because this stuff is supposed to be filling up a battery, a huge bank of power here. Um, I don't like this being so narrow, if you don't mind. In order for us to have, first of all, a huge battery, and then second of all, a buffer between our power producer, which has stopped for some reason, and life. So we wanted to, we want to take it out of there and all the way down there, which means we're going to need to produce a lot more of the hardened flux ducts to get down there. And we do have a lot of them running sort of in that general direction, but there basically. We're going to be there. We could run them through the roof. I am tempted to. Um, and we do want to improve our infrastructure. I haven't done anything since the last episode, as you probably can tell, because of how I haven't done anything since the last episode, as you can tell. Um, I, I have a feeling that if I... The flux duct. I, um... Go over here. Grab some... Several more hardens, but I, th I think this is... I just sort of do... This. Now we can't run out of power in, well, no, because that's, yeah, maybe. I, I don't want to run out of power in this. This is the main part of all of this. The rest of it is creating power. This is the only thing that needs power, and it's the only thing that, it's also sort of creating the power for everything else. And it's, this little loop here is supposed to keep itself going. With these two, um, this pipe and this flux duct, but for some reason, for some reason, it has stopped. So I think what I, yeah, probably the correct thing to do is to hook this up to here and then hook this up to get everything going again. With you running, and you not draining too much, I hope, you should be producing enough stuff to keep this going. Indefinitely, but I don't know why you didn't. Do you have something in you? Yes, a rosin. So now you're going really fast, which is great. Uh, do you need... I, mean, I could probably augment you further. I do have the resources now. Um, the auxiliary reception coil increases much... Uh, increases processing speed, which might be important. Secondary output also could be... I could put basically one more of each of those to, inf to ensure that this has got more... Uh, rosin than it needs. You can see, well, let's try now doing this. Find out how much of this power that's used. Still going up. 
And that has appeared just before that ran out, but that seems to have stabilized slightly. Where are you getting your riffs from? <laughs> That's my question. You're not outputting riffs, you're outputting Steam. Boiler conversion. Uh, Steam is produced instead of RF, and there's an empty org. Mm, that might be valuable. Let's go make another auxiliary transmission call. Because none of that, it wasn't stuck, you know, it seemed fine. Except for the fact that it just sort of had stopped. You know, it wasn't, it didn't seem like it was stopped because of any particular reason. Well, that's not why I want, is it? Because it's a boiler conversion. So you. I'm going to do that. Is there a thing that outputs more of the stuff? I don't know if that's really necessary. Active fuel efficiency. Generation cannot be throttled. One specialization, yeah. Um, and then the other ones are turbines. But what I want is to increase the output of. Well, let's try it. It, it. Let me put it in, so maybe it will just use more steam. Can't see how much steam there is in there. Are you filling up? No. Right. You. Are not good enough. So that means you are going to run out. Well, you're going up. Are you going up? Very much no. Oh, uh, maybe? That's very difficult to tell. <laughs> I think what happens is this doesn't produce enough secondary outputs to quite keep it going. So eventually it runs to zero. But then again, there's no reason why we can't just do what we did in the first place and whack these on here like this. Because now you're guaranteed to be always full. You are going to be adding stuff to the entire network and we can just repeat the whole thing again and again and again. I think I like that more. You can go back now. Might as well turn the mob back on again. And go home. Right, so what we were going to do... You're already full. That's amazing. How? It's not like it drained the other, did it? I don't think so. Um, now we need to <laughs> start placing all of these. I'm going to replace these even though I said in the previous episode that I was going to take those machines up. It remains true. But for now, I'm doing it this way. Uh, that's because basically I want to get this sorted out. Or I have to do anything else like think. <laughs> I don't want to have to do anything difficult. Just so I'm going to leave everything. There. This is how we do programming, by the way. If you're not a developer, you might not be aware. But one of the um, one of the strategies, I guess you might say, of making changes to a system, especially a complex one, especially one you've made yourself and it's already far too complicated and shouldn't be like that, what's the matter with you, is to make changes, make upgrades to things that are bad and leave the bad things in place. Um, so that later you have got half an infrastructure built and the rest of it is upgraded to use the new infrastructure but is still crappy. And then when you've done all that, um, it it's really easy to, not necessarily easy, but at least you're in a good position. Basically, you clean up a whole bunch of stuff and put it somewhere else. And then you wire up the old stuff to the new stuff with a big to-do. I'll fix this later. And maybe one day you'll come along and actually fix it. Here's another good example. You know, all this mess here was grand when we started it. But now we've started making rooms that big and the size of what's going to be the... The dragon hall, you know, this is huge place. It's even decorated, whereas this, oh, for sure, you know. So, um, this place. Let's actually see if we can set off some. Um, well, hang on. What upgraded are you? 
to our first level. So I can make you the second one. Okay. Um, hardened to reinforce. Reinforced? And then resonant, and then. Yeah, that sounds right. Give me one of those. Time. Time. Oh. Dude. I should probably have brought the. Here we go. So we can make second transmission. We can probably make one of those um, efficiency upgrades. That was where I. Oh, augment. Uh, we probably just uh, and increase this should simply just make this look how much is in there now that it's not being forced to use all its power all the time so this is constantly going which means if it could constantly go at full speed it, this can keep up but because it could I think the problem is because it couldn't go at full speed because it was throttling because it wasn't full that was bringing this down and etc everything was going in a weird cycle now we have plenty of space so let's go and see if we have the resources to make some hard some like energy cells and i want to make seven okay Seems easy. Why is it slow? <laughs> Seems like the sort of thing you can parallelize. The way to parallelize something like this is to make it do these things in bulk. Because you know you're going to need a lot of things like gears. When you make the gear recipe, instead of teaching it to make one, you teach it to make a stack 64. So whenever something needs the, the gear recipe, that was amazingly good. <laughs> whenever. Whenever something needs the gear recipe. Where's the rest of them? Oh, Jen's home. Hello. Um, it will make all 64. And then it won't need to make the gear recipe. Those. So you basically stockpile them for efficiency, which is the way you do things in real life. Fix. Fix. Yay. Right, so you... You get one of those blueprint things where you copy um, settings. Yes. Mm, <laughs> I'm sure it's got a blueprint. Oh. I can hear you coming up to get me. Hi Poppy. Yeah, I'm not oh, I save it. Hi. Ah, yeah, you I've had pretty. a kiss on Minecraft. I'm really warm now. You're really pretty. Who's on? My umber jumper <laughs> <laughs> that you made me buy. So it's very crisp, lovely crisp white dress shirt, fancy trousers. You made me dress up for work. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Mm. You made me dress up for work. Posh work. Can't find a thing that makes those work. This, then you, I have to make sure it's that way. Very satisfying sound. Dude. Ruined it. Nice. So you are all filling up this end. Here it go. So you are filling up. So oh right. I should be draining. If I had the copy thingy, oh you're not draining. You're not draining across one another. This is fascinating content, so glad you're all sticking around for it. There we go. And those are filling up really fast, actually. You're empty, which implies that you're draining. Yes, you're all draining. Great, 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 great. So you should be filling up that. 
this should be powering those which are not in use and we haven't connected this lot this lot's still got power because the entire network until just today or or today for me was powered by these which is fine because these are doing really well however we would now like to replace most hardened flux ducts please There's a lot of tidying up i could be doing in this place as well but i sort of like having the remnants of past lives lying around Go uh, harden these. Can I upgrade these? Harden. Yes. What was? What info? Make sixty-four of those. Oh, stop that! You tell me every time, but I don't. I, I don't know what causes that. I think it's when I press some button or. Other. Right, that's grand. I don't get any of those left. A bit more hardened. Uh, that's a fluid duct. That's a flux duct. I'm going to need a lot, so we'll make like Go, and some are happening. But I don't need all of them, because we're going to go down to here. Start replacing these things. Now this, I have to replace the whole lot all at once. So... Break this. Hopefully, I will be able to tell. Oh, I see. Not great. <laughs> Not ideal. But I can hook them up here, you see. I think I lost a couple. Like this. And then all of these can get replaced and all. And then I can upgrade all these bloodstone ones. I wish you could just sort of in place upgrade them. That would be grand. Do, do, do. I like driving in my car. Do, 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 do. I'm thinking I hadn't uh, just staring a gog at my failure because I thought I had accidentally down the leadstone, removed the leadstone ones. It was not so. So aren't I lucky? Um, you. Quickly. Sense. What did I just... Uh, Something came away and I wasn't sure what it was. It turns out it's what I tried to do. What happened? <laughs> it rarely happens, so I, I can understand how I get confused by when the thing that I was trying to do that did get done. Um, Great, so that's all of that. Then all of that needs replacing as well. If I ever get bored of doing this, which is coming up very quickly, I can just interface between them by just sticking a energy cube at the point where after like what do this <laughs> what's all this make some space you know yeah 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 cool you 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 so i've got a lot of them apparently but since they don't like sticking together but that's okay because we can just force them to stick together by grabbing an energy cube from over here. Oh, maybe not even one from over there, we should make a new one. Because we can, although we're going to run out of power very quickly. Cube. Energy. Well, start that. Hurry up. <laughs> there we go. And then uh, shove the leadstone in there. Bring this down here, and then the interface is approximately. Input on the back and then output right. But enough again. Yep. It's all still powered from here because those are connected to that thing. But I, I, I think these things could probably stand to go in the tree area as well because we don't need this contraption here anymore. Um, this has been generating cobblestone since time began. All it's doing is filling up that lava bucket. So. Now the goal is to get the inf the stuff from here down to there. So I think probably the best way of doing that is that way. We could bring it out through the wall here. 
something. Um. Yes, so this is minus 19. This is minus 10. Let's aim at minus 11. What's this doing? Just producing the obsidian here that's been going there forever. Go to minus 10 and just move this. Please. So there's a fluid up there. Oh, right, okay. Um, Extractor is active. No. Who cares? Um, let's go for minus 10 in this direction. Don't crash. Why have you crashed? You haven't crashed. Just having a breather. It's not like you didn't restart in the past 30 seconds. What are you doing? 10. This way. To bring us out. Where we're expecting to try not to break. I can hear it, I can hear it. Oh, hey, here we go. Nice. So that's not enough of them um, at all. Uh, so let's make more hard and... Uh, we've made it because we're smart. Good old us. Good thinking. Um, this is too difficult to get into. Also, this is decorative. Oot. 61 of these is more than you know. Now with all that power coming from the tree farm, which is already a silly amount of power, considering we never actually hooked it up to anything, um, we can do... Oh, is this is not what gets hooked up. So what gets hooked up here? Let's now actually talk about Draconic Evolution. <laughs> we hook up these to this. I'm not worried about using sources here because why would I be? I am rich beyond my wildest years. Please tell me that's a mid. The way this works is we're going to use a lot of power, but in doing so, we're. Let's be a human. Uh, our goal was to create. Uh, this portal here. I remember. Um, this. This thing here requires a normal dislocator, which is, you know, manageable. And eight items plus the dislocator in this thing here. So what we're going to do is make eight of these. Why are you... I don't think this will draw power until it needs it. Oops. So one. I like this arrangement. So that it's a little bit balanced. We need seven more basic fusion crafting injector. Go and uh, work out that. I think we can just uh, inject. This, however, and the problem we're going to sort out is this one. Processing recipe. We're going to have to put in... Well, we can put it in the redstone furnace, I guess. This is uh, a bit rarer than I'd like. So I think what we're going to want to work towards is a plutonium chicken. Which is from pig iron and enderpool. So we can get there gonna take me most of my time in a bottle I've got eight hours in there and it's probably not gonna be enough um nevertheless we could also work on well off camera or on the other camera i'm gonna work through the mystical agriculture stuff i'm also prob probably gonna build a, a bigger greenhouse because we're gonna want more space for those crops we can't just have a tiny little corner with like three crops in it it doesn't make sense um so we've we've learned this and this, but we're also going to want to turn this into this and uh, this one for now. Not very efficient, but it'll do. So 
So the molecular assemblers will learn how to make. Oh, I'll just put this. Well, I'll just. And then the redstone furnace. Now we should be able to ask you for seven of the blocks of iron. Well, that's easy to do. We don't have much. Oh, <laughs> very well. We have an area of cube. Uh huh. And then. Vector. This is going to be slow. Because. It does have crafting to do in that it got to make these. That's actually going quite quickly. Six, seven, nice. I'm surprised that happened in such a time that I didn't want to pause the video. We put this here like this. And the other thing you want to do. The reason we want to do this and clear soon, and mostly it's to do with automation. Um, we now can put things on these and in that and then push button and it'll go. So. Let's see if we can get to the stage where we're actually capable of doing the thing I said. Create the portal. So the first thing we want to do is this way. We want to make one of these, which is tender, easy. This. Oh, no, I need that. And the advanced one is going to be three ender pearls, one wyvern core, which is... A nether star. Oh, we are going to get there because I forgot about the wyvern core. We need to fight the nether star maker. Wait, what? What the heck? <laughs> this is awful. Uh, I'm not sure how to get to nether star. It doesn't say mob drops. Normally it says mob drops. I'm going to look this up between episodes. So this is a bit of a shorter episode, but at least we know that this time. Thank you for watching. I hope that you're enjoying me fight my way through this nonsense. Uh, until next time. Again, thank you for watching. And <sighs> Why is it so hard to sign off an episode? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.